Way down in the jungle deep, a real bad mother jumped on a signified green man's feet. Nerd soul. Late ill kid at one, you so holding it down, breathe that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people? Oh, yeah. Coming with another wonderful episode of On Screen. We are having a wonderful, awesome time because today we got a special episode. It's not only myself, we got a cool friend that we brought along in Chauncey K. Robinson. She's super dope, does Twisted Horror, Twisted Girl Next Door, super cool. We've done other stuff before at the horror, you know, con and all that good. Don't worry about all that today. Oh, we getting, we getting deep down in the bayou, all up in the murky waters, all up in them swamps. That's right. We talking about the one, the only, the protector and representative of the green swamp thing. And we did a cool, straight up initial reaction right after watching it. But, but real quick, I'm going to jump on a couple of things and I'm going to throw it to the video because she is, yo, her perspective on this joint is straight fly and I love how she's attacking this joint and you will too you know what i'm saying also hit that link below subscribe to old girl because she the bomb now i want to talk about the opening of this episode which i thought was like spot on for giving us this this atmosphere of like something around this swamp that is just weird it's creepy it's alive um and I think it sets the tone for the rest of the show that we're about to see. The way it moves, the way it lives, the way it kind of breathes and kind of like envelops around people, around objects, around everything. The green is definitely something that is, is not only sentient, but highly intelligent as well. And that's the cool thing here because the green definitely has the ability to kind of handle its own and protect itself. Now, with that said, before we throw to the video, me and CK are chilling. Yo, the Blue Ranger be catching L's all over DC, son. Like, look, the Blue Ranger died in Black Lightning, all right? You know what I'm saying? Took an L there, and then ended up dying right here in the beginning of the episode, man. Can he catch a break? Let a brother live. <sighs> Can we have nothing for the young black men in DC? No, I'm just playing. But yo, do be catching mad L's. The way he died in this was crazy. Like, it turned him into a statue and like drove through the, through, I mean, look, man, you saw it, man. It was crazy, but it was creepy and it provided a very ominous sense of horror in this and in a very good way, I believe. What we are looking at in this episode and hopefully this season going forward is something that gives you this horror bend to it that maybe Titans or even um, or even Doom Patrol isn't really giving us yet. And it helps kind of like diversify the world that these shows live in. And I think that's super awesome. Now, with that said, we got a whole bunch of cool stuff for you to see with me and Chauncey K. Robinson. And we're going to get into that video right about now. Hey, we're here. <laughs> What's up? We just <laughs> watched Swamp Thing, y'all. The first episode, DC Universe's Swamp Thing. Just finished the episode, getting right on camera. It's pretty good. I, I'm not mad at it. It's got that horror vibe. I, some One out of ten, what are you giving it? One out of ten for, for the first episode. This is a episode. pilot episode. For, all right, for a pilot episode, I say this is solid around uh, You know what? I'm going to put this high. I'm gonna go high with this with like a 8, 8.25. I really like the autopsy. That threw it over for me. I was like, I'm digging this. The, the you know, the little spike up in the, yeah. Um, for all that like little weird, nasty stuff, that was cool. Okay, I mean, for me overall, I'm gonna say it's a seven out okay. of 10. I'm gonna say it's seven, seven out of 10. still solid, still solid. I mean, yeah, I mean, it was it's a solid episode. I, I have my pros and my cons. Right. I don't know how you wanna like talk about let your me, first let reaction. Let's get, what's some of your pros? What's some of your pros? Uh, well, I mean, 
the pros is that it definitely has a storyline going on with it. It's it's mm -hmm. it's digging into a mystery. And I, I can dig a mystery. I worry sometimes when it comes to mystery plot lines that we'll get a whole season of the mystery and then we finally reveal something like in the last episode, which can be a problem. Okay. Um good point. So I so but it definitely has some plot lines. There are good characters there. There's potential of good characters there, I should say, yeah. because in this pilot episode, we didn't get to really get to know any of the characters. I'm going to say that because I felt like even with Abby, although she's a central figure, and Alec, who we know what happens with him. Yeah, we know. We didn't we really get to know them that well, except for like that one bonding moment. So I felt like a lot I of... I feel like they had two. They well, had no, two. they had bonding moments, but I'm just saying that, like, the surf... I felt like all of the characters... And it's a pilot episode, They were so just trying to happens. get to it. Yeah, they want yeah. you to get a feel of I'll the I'll give you that. Characters. They're trying they to, like, let's just... Potential. Let's go through the motions so we can have the show, kind of. Yes. Thing. And um, so there were some pros, for sure. I mean, and yes, the horror element. I mean, this is... Juan, who's doing this? This is from our dude from Insidious and Yo. all of that. So you definitely <laughs> Stuff got from the his horror. Neck, it like came out his neck. It was nasty. We're gonna have this is gonna be a mixture of body gore type. And if you're into yeah. that, you're gonna love this because of the mixture of the body gore. Depending on how far it goes, sometimes I'll be like, ah. Yeah, but. I mean, I'm not the biggest <laughs> fan of body gore. I knew there were gonna be vines and stuff. I just didn't know they were gonna be doing it so hardcore in this. In this show, where like yeah. the body was coming out of Eddie's like corpse and stuff, yeah. and it looks so. I'm like, I'm not into tentacle type stuff. I know if you watch anime, oh, you might yeah. like that tentacle stuff. Yeah. I hate yeah. that. Yeah. I don't like that. gross stuff like that. So that whole scene just had me like this the whole time. Like, oh my god. All right, cool. Well, a pro that I have is I like that they make the town seem like a town. Like we saw the school, we saw a town hall with. Tons of people there that, you know, were, you know, agreeing with old boy and some that were, weren't feeling it. You know what I'm saying? They were like, yo, we've been down this road before in 86 and 92, I think he said. And then we also see the, like, kind of like the watering hole. So, and then, of course, we got that cove area where people doing sneaky stuff. So it seems like it's bigger than, like, Oh, we're in this room talking, and we're in this room. It's a talking. world. There's yeah. already a world at that. And yeah. I think I think we both can agree on that. Like you go in, and there's history there. Like mm -hmm. we saw little bits of history. Maria uh, Saunders and uh, Abby's history with the, yeah. her, with Maria and Avery's daughter Shauna. You see, you know, Liz, a friend of you know Abby's. There's the, Matt. She writes for the paper. The cops and all <laughs> Like there's a history there. This is a town mm -hmm. that has a history to it. Yeah, which and, I can appreciate. All right, now I will say a con. Okay, I, I'll throw a con out there. The whole like we both fell from grace kind of thing. I was just like, uh, I know, I know we got to do it, but do we got to do it? What the whole like you fabricated results and I killed somebody. Okay, There's, so are you getting on the romance? Not the romance, <laughs> but just like like you did something bad and I did something bad. Like we we're equal on that. Like it's like you don't have to match for match. Like that that doesn't have to be the only thing that they bond around mm. or bond on. I guess. So I was just like, eh, and then I you can know, see that. and then Ma Duke's trying to be like, you killed my daughter. You was at school partying. I was sad over my daughter. And we don't really know if she killed. She probably didn't kill that girl. Did she look like a killer? Well, she don't look like a killer. Well, I mean, I mean, we're, we're, we're probably. I mean, I, we can already know that we're gonna find out when she tells the actual story of like Shauna's death. It's probably gonna be an accidental yeah. type of thing. Like, oh, we didn't mean it. We were on a bridge or something. Because it looked like there was some type of flashback yeah. when she was going into town and stuff. Um, I don't know. I I like soap opery moments sometimes. Okay, okay. Because. I think so maybe I just gives a level give, of give drama. Give a little something. Let um, them have it. Yeah. Well, my cons Hi. with it was the idea that um, I wanted more moments like that. Like, who are these people that we're dealing with? Okay. And I didn't think we got that. enough of that. I think we got right into the mystery. We got right into the action of it all. And I was like, well, why do I care about these people a little bit? All right. When you know, especially with Swamp Thing, because it is. It's a well-known figure. Swamp Thing is a very yeah. well-known figure. He's been but around for quite some time. I think if you ask most people, though, they know about Swamp Thing, but they probably don't know if they're not like the readers of his particular thing. They might True. not know the ins and outs of the details of the characters and all that. Mm -hmm. And I felt like you kind of have to establish that a little bit 
with a character that it's kind of mm. like with Doom Patrol. It was like yeah. people know about Doom Patrol, but they didn't really know. a lot. Then, not mainstream people didn't know about the character characters. And they got that kind of backdoor pilot on Titans. Yeah. So yeah, it would have been nice to get maybe something on on either Titans or Doom Patrol about this to kind of like lead us. So maybe they didn't have to do so much heavy lifting of just like, hey, let's get to the let's get to the point. Instead of we could like learn about some of these people. Well, yeah, but not even that. I mean, I didn't care for the backdoor pilot of Doom Patrol and Titans. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I thought it actually did them. Didn't put them in the best light. I thought oh. it was when the at first episode you happened. You didn't like the pancakes. I thought it was bit? okay, but I, in terms <laughs> of like, you could tell they totally kind of switched it a little bit when the actual show started. And that's yeah. what I mean. I you got to know those characters in the first two episodes, like really deep dive into the character introspection. And what we got with this, it's more like it played like a horror picture. It's kind of like, well, the plot is the most important thing. Yeah. And then, like, the characters are secondary. And it maybe was very because... Horror, it was very horror movie vibe yeah. through most of this. And because I've been so spoiled by the great <laughs> character introspection of and depth of Doom Patrol, I think yeah. I kind of Doom maybe Patrol's wanted... done a very good job. Yeah, and I think maybe I was... I mean, and that's what I mean. Like, maybe I'm not completely... I'm a little biased because I was so... Like, we were so fed with, like, yeah. individual character introspection in Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol that getting held into, it down. Yeah, and getting into this show where it's the action. Like, everyone's just thrown into it immediately. And you... Yeah. I mean, we're, it's the end of the pilot episode. And I don't know... I don't feel like we got to know anybody as deep. Yeah, we know we know more what's happening. Yeah. But we don't know who these people yes, are. Yes, exactly. Exactly that. Hmm. And I, and, I'm, I, and I and I I don't want to say that as a con necessarily because it's a different way of doing a show. But I yeah. guess I really appreciate it. It's kind of it. you give us the characters on the back end. Yes. And then all right. But I see I see where you're coming from. Yeah. The other thing is this was like Titans level dark. Like, you oh. know, we all know, I think that was the ongoing jokes. I mean, I'm not going to keep comparing, like, but you have to. They're in the same universe. world, so it's it's fair. Yeah, it's fair. and it was just like, Doom Patrol was bright because most of the stuff happens in the daytime in Doom Patrol, so I love that because <laughs> I could actually see people, and we all yeah, know you if know you know what's watched, going on, what's happening. Yes, and if you watch Titans, I think one of the jokes was how dark it was filmed. And I got no. vibes like that from this thing too. I was like, I had, and, I was but at least they're in a swamp. They're, it's supposed to okay. be dark in a swamp. Okay, I'll Titans, that. it was just like, <laughs> yo man, like. Is it in daytime? <laughs> yo, this, is is there ever like a sunny day? Even though. Like they, we ain't even in Gotham all the time. <laughs> like I know in Gotham it never seems like there's a sunny day, yeah, but, but we, they weren't even in Gotham. We're in regular places. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I felt a little bit about this show. I was like, oh, man, it's going to be one of those shows where I got to squint. Yeah. <laughs> when they got, when they get any of the scenes that happen near the swamp, I'm going to have to squint. <laughs> yeah, because they, they definitely, they, they're they using a lot. They're putting a lot of weight on that flashlight work. Oh, my God. A lot right? of <laughs> Like, hello? <laughs> Who's that? Uh, who? There's a little vine happening. And it's look, like, what, what just I, happened? I'm going to just tell y'all, look, watch it back in the swamps, man, because <laughs> it is not safe. And what's the name of this? What is it? Maury? Uh, Moray. Moray? Yeah, just watch it back in Moray. Moray, Louisiana. Yeah, it's, it's not good for you out there in the streets or in them swamps. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> no, yeah, it was It was definitely... I did like the special effects, though, of the actual yes. vine. That's what I was going to throw in a, in a pro. The effects here... On point. Yeah, on point. Definitely good money being spent. And I yes. think you would have to have that, right? Not to say, I mean, the old incarnation of the Swamp Thing TV oh, series boy. was like the thing you of camp what? and greatness. I'm not greatness. bad at that, though. Yeah. It, was, it was thing of camp and greatness. But yeah. I think in a 2019 kind of show. You kind of kind of got to yeah. give it some. Yeah, if you're leaning on the horror aspect, they definitely made me afraid yeah. of plants. As a vegetarian... You know, I I feel you're like, gonna like make sure you stab it <laughs> right? a little I'm better be like, with your fork. I'm sorry, I need to eat you, <laughs> like, but I like I've never been scared of plants before. But I definitely, after this episode, Yo, I'm a little that, afraid of roots. That opening, <laughs> that opening was wow. And then old boy in the bathroom. That yo, was gross too. Yo, they, <laughs> there were so many gross moments. I'm like, oh, this show is gonna be one of those shows. Yeah, it, it's in a good way. I will say one thing though. You look, just don't wear sandals in places where your feet aren't 
able to be protected <laughs> properly. Gross. All right, you wear sandals like on the beach, nowhere else. All right, sandals <laughs> you need. Chancletas, <laughs> wearing your chancletas. Because I'm the like, swamp. it's raining and swamp, and it's like little things and bugs and in your toes, and this don't wear like boots, like <laughs> tied tight boots. You were pointing that out while we were watching. You were like, yo, this dude is why? Because my still feet, wearing? I was like, my feet feel scared already. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how she could tell he wasn't a local. Alec definitely wasn't True. a local because he was in this town thinking, oh, I could just, I'm in Louisiana. I could just wear chancletas. And it's like, no, you cannot wear your uh, flip flops, man. If you're near the swamp, it's nasty. Here. Yeah, it's nasty and little critters and things. And, yeah. What did you think about the chemistry between um, Alec and Abby? Because clearly that's where the, they're the yeah. main ship. I mean, if he's got a yeah. swamp thing, what do you think of the chemistry? I think it, I think it works. I don't think they've done the work yet, but I think it works. Like they they have a chemistry on on set where it's like okay, cool. They they look like they could be a couple to me. They feel like they could be a couple to me later on. Well, I mean not your traditional couple. I mean you know because Swamp Thing does have a, a distinct look. But, <laughs> but <laughs> that's a nice way of putting it. Yeah, but but I mean, you can tell that they have like a similar wavelength, and you know how they play and talk talk with each other, even when they throw like little jabs about like the searching for the Google yeah. and stuff. So there was flirtation happening there. Yeah, and I liked that Alec had such a uh, kind of. Uh, I mean, he was kind of a trope. I mean, most of these characters are trope. No, no characters yeah. above being a trope. But he was kind of like the Gavalier adventurer scientist who just kind of like sneaking into places and stuff and being like, oh, I don't know. What are you doing? And that, that intrigued her. He so looked, I liked that they did that He funny when she was like, didn't I tell you you could be? He was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> right? I mean, it was cute. And I, and I actually think that added some levity to this very, because it's a very dark plot line too. Yeah. You didn't get, like with Doom Patrol, that's another thing. Doom Patrol is a dark comedy, right? Straight up yeah. dark comedy. It has very dark elements, but it's a comedy still Alan too. Alan Tudor kills it. Right? And Titans had some funny moments. I think people were surprised at how funny at times Titans could be during yeah. certain plots. And this particular plot line, this particular pilot, there weren't as many jokes, mm -mm. you know? And it was very much, and I think you could fall into it feeling like it could be grim because of that, like yeah. a very grim thing. So I really enjoyed Alec, funny enough, who ends up being Swamp Thing. I really enjoyed him bringing levity with some of yeah. his jokes and quips that he made. Yeah. I wonder if he's gonna keep that kind of humor as he's like Swamp Thing. It would be I, funny if he I, keeps I, that humor. I hope so. I really hope so. I hope he keeps that sarcasm. That he doesn't just become this stoic kind of I'm I'm the green. Yeah, because the yeah, cause the the Swamp Thing I know about mostly is very stoic. Yeah. Very I'm neutral. I ain't helping out nobody unless it uh, unless something is affecting the green. Yes. If it's not affecting the green, I don't care. Yeah, and I'm I, one of the most yeah. powerful people on earth, and I don't care unless y'all messing with some unless y'all messing with the green. Yeah, I'm not interested. And I think that's going to be the interesting <laughs> way where they take the series because you can have a character like that, but no one wants to like. I feel like most people no won't be able to... No one wants to hang with that character. Yeah, no one's going to be able to relate to that character, True. too. Like, a whole character. Like, like I feel like even in the campy version of the 19... What was it, 90s when it came out? Or was it the 80s? Like, the whole like thing was... it was late their, 80s, maybe? Yeah, it was their love story. Know. It was their love story and stuff. And you still kind of liked him because he made little jokes because it was camp. And yeah. I feel like if they allow him to have that camp of... Like, maybe, a, maybe like thing. a line thrown here that lets you know, yeah. oh, okay, there's still a, a guy who has... A little spirit in there, you yeah. know what I mean? So, I mean, I think the vocal point going forward is definitely going to be Abby. So, what did you think of Abby? Because it's very clear that she's going to be like the main main character in a way. Yeah. Um, I think she's interesting enough to follow. Okay. I think she's interesting enough to follow. I want to see more from her because right now we've been kind of like rushing just to show what this town is. I want to see if she's got the emotional weight and kind of like the, the I guess, diversity in being able to handle different situations as far as like whether you're like the winner or the loser or whatever, can she carry it? Mm -hmm. Because I assume that, you know, this won't be following Swamp Thing all the time. She's going to have to figure out, you know, whatever's going on with this mutagen and all that stuff. Yeah, well, she's the human so, connection now. Yeah, so I think, I think she's got it. Whether they'll show it or not, 
I'm not sure, but based on what DC Universe has been doing, I'm betting on she's gonna be all right. Yeah, I I I like her for the most part, and I think I have the same uh, concern, or you know, just hoping that they do. Yeah. Where they, you know, show her stepping up and being a very strong character, not strong like oh, I'm a woman, hear me roar. Because things but, kind of happen to her. Yes. Instead of her doing things that sets off plot lines. Yeah, and we know she's capable because she's been, she was up in the Congo, like, yeah. helping people. So she's very much, you know, she has the heart to be helpful, to want to help. And maybe that's because of her, you know, past with Shauna. Maybe that's why she went into it, True. wanting to help people because she lost her best friend to whatever thing we'll probably find out mid-season or something. Yeah, but around episode four or five. I feel like I do worry, though, because she was kind of stoic, too. And, like, the whole thing with her and Maria yeah. talking, she was crying and stuff. I'm like, it's yeah. going to be depressing. They're never yeah. going to be a joke. I'm hoping that she doesn't end show. up being one of those characters where... Things are always happening to me, and I, I just want to be great, you know, kind of feeling. So I hope that doesn't end up being mm. the thing. Yeah. But I guess with all that said, are you gonna follow it? You gonna oh, watch yeah, it? For sure. You gonna I'm, watch? You gonna stick around? I'm on around? board. I'm on board, uh, and I'm also on board to see if they will ever try to do a crossover with Titans in some kind of way. Because we yeah. know in the comics, not to talk too deeply in the comics, but you know, we know in the context Constantine ends up helping out, but we yeah. also know. We don't have Constantine in DC Universe. We have yeah. my dude. We have uh, Crowley. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we got Crowley. From Doom so. Patrol. So, <laughs> Constantine Light. <laughs> Constantine Light. I was so, like, oh, Crowley in the house? I feel like maybe Crowley might show up in, in eventually yeah. somewhere down the line. I, would, I wouldn't go. be mad at that. I now, wouldn't be you, mad at that at all. Do you think they're going, because I asked you this before we started filming, but do you think, you know, they've been leaning... That's the other thing I would say about a little bit of a con. There was a lot of jargon of medical and science there. Oh, yeah, yeah, And yeah. I felt like some people might get lost. Like, what are we? I mean, when they showed <laughs> stuff, that was cool. But then it was like, okay, there's a lot of medical and, and scientific jargon. But they kind of just flew through. Yes. And I wonder, they seem to be leaning very much on the whole idea of science and medicine. Right. That, But we know in the comics, Constantine comes in. And there's magic, and there's a the whole thing about the spiritual world and souls and stuff. Do you think they're gonna go down that route, or do you think they'll keep it very much about science? Towards the end of season one and into season two, yes. Okay. Yeah, I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna start to open the door more into how this happens. Oh, it's connected to spiritual and 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 supernatural, and I think it's gonna open up that and and show the dichotomy and also the connection with science and the supernatural and magic and all that good stuff yeah hopefully hopefully i yeah. think i mean because that's what makes it it's such a that someone thing is such a weird conglomerate of so many different kind of genre it has the science and has the medicine and has the yeah. environmental and then it also has once you get into the whole thing about the spirit world and souls and stuff it has this very magic religious spiritual I should say more so element to it and I'm wondering if the show is going to be able to encompass all that because right now they've been mm. leaning very heavily on the medical and the science and I I would actually I'm gonna like push back a little bit because I would actually hope that it doesn't take all season to get there okay so like a little earlier like, like maybe three season I mean episode three or four maybe or something four. like that being like you know like I mean, opening it up yeah I mean I know there okay. was a controversy that happened with the show uh some months ago or maybe like a month or two ago where they stopped production uh, mm. and they only did I think they were set to do 15 episodes but I think they've stopped at 12 so we don't we're oh. not getting the same amount that we got for Doom Patrol they cut some of the episodes and they said they now DC Universe is saying they did that not for any negative reason but because they just decided that it would be better at 12 or something so I mean we'll are they going to be well, what kind of story they're going to be able to tell if they had initially figured they were going to have 15 episodes that means some some characters moments are probably going to get cut yes lower like you know fifth lead fourth lead like old girl that does the paper couple of her scenes about to get cut. Yes. <laughs> so I think there's a total of 13 episodes instead of 15 or 16. Okay, okay, cool. So, um, but I, I think, I'm just hoping they kind of, they allow it to, to have a little bit of the spiritual vibe because we might, we may not be able to get that if they cut some of it or if they're really leaning True. on the mystery yeah. of, I mean, we already, I mean, I think it's we'll already. We'll have to get into that. Thing. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, guess, I'm gonna guess, do you have any predictions? Predictions? We find out that the uh, these dropping these um, 
uh, uh, like little markers in the water goes way higher than the town and it's because someone else has been looking to harness the power of the swamp. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. Well, yeah. I definitely think Avery is a villain. Uh, I think they, I think they kind of set that up. The yeah. tycoon who stays, yeah. lost his daughter. It's a whole type of thing. So I definitely think there's something going on with his company yeah. because he, because uh, he fired Alec for whatever Alec was finding. So I think yeah. we'll find out that Avery played a big hand in that whatever trying to cover up definitely. he's trying to do. So that's my guess. Yeah. I think he's going to be our big bad for the season. And he seems very human though. So yeah. this is going to be once one of the shows where we have a normal. A human yeah, big bad. Like, that's what I mean essentially about... Essentially like a Lex Luthor. Yes. And, rather and than, a Superman. Yeah. Rather than a Tregoran or a, <laughs> or, you know, Mr. Nobody. Or Mr. Nobody. So and, that's going to be different. And rats and roaches and all kinds Ezekiel, of who knows yeah. whatever else stuff. But that's going to be interesting, though, because we've had yeah. first two shows, Titans and Doom Patrol, where it was very larger than life, super being villain. And I think mm -hmm. with this one, it's going to not necessarily be that. So it might yeah, be a different it be, dynamic. It'll just be like kind of like that corporate guy that's got the power money wise. I yeah. Guess. So, so yeah. do you think it's gonna be popular? Do you think it's gonna be a popular show? Mm. That remains to be seen. I I wanna say in the horror community, yeah, I think it's got what it takes for the horror community okay. to, to get behind it. Okay. Yeah. So I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. I, I'm gonna stick with it and now in like three more episodes if they trash, I'm leaving, but I doubt that. <laughs> Because DC Universe, you've been good, so I, I'm, I'm going to be down with you. I'm, I'm happy with this one. I, I, I totally, I'm giving it a seven. I will admit that I think Doom Patrol and maybe even Titans had a stronger pilot. Yeah. Had stronger pilots than this one did. Uh, but I think that's comparatively speaking. Because compared yeah. to a lot of other shows, this show yeah. was actually Yeah, and seven is still bar. good. Don't yeah. sleep. Seven is still strong. Yeah. So, yeah. That's it. Now we're going to get back to the regular scheduled program. program. Like, now. See, now that's basically how we feel about the show just coming out. You can see that we were pretty pumped. This is a pretty solid episode, man. And I'm happy with a lot of the body horror that we get here. I think it's something that is missing from the comic genre on television. And I like it a lot. Um, one of the other sticking points that really came home to me is what we're going to have to deal with when it comes to Abby and her homecoming. The people that know her, that love her, that hate her, how she's going to have to deal with them, how she's going to have to reconcile her feelings with them and them to her as well. Um, another thing is figuring out how deep this rabbit hole goes with this whole weird stuff in the swamp with people dropping stuff down and I don't know, leaking chemicals or whatever they're doing, they're doing something wrong because the green is not happy. And seeing how far that rabbit hole goes, like, like we said, it's pretty, pretty much old boy that's like, I came back and I'm the businessman. But it's most likely him, but you never know. They could throw us a curveball that could be crazy. And I really want to see that play out and be, be fruitful and something that we earn. I want it to be something that we really, really enjoy and something that maybe throws a, tw a twist or two to us. I think that'll be great. The next thing is a question for you. How are you feeling about the science and the horror being mixed together? Are you digging it? Because I think, I think there's a, a nice fine line and a nice realization for the scientific and the supernatural community to discover about each other, you know, in this series. Uh, I like it bending and melding together. And I think there's a lot from the CDC aspect to learn and a lot from Hopefully, Miss Xanadu. Um, at least I believe that's how they pronounce her name. I really want to see where she comes into the play and also the friend. Uh, see how she comes into play and where she ends up. But mostly, how far do you think we're going to go with the supernatural? Uh, or do you think we're going to stay hardcore to the science on this one? Because I think with the horror vibe, I think it lends well to the unknown and kind of ending up in places that maybe you should not when it comes to thesis and, and theories and all that good stuff and something that could just be downright dangerous. Now, before we get up out here, I got two more things. Do you think we see further ties to the Congo? Uh, because we did, get, we did get that flashback, that throwback to her working there. Do you think we see any ties back 
to the Congo. Also, where do you think we end up with our patient zero, of course, Susie, do you think she's coming back? Do you think we circle back to her blood and the kind of like the research on her? Or do you think that's just something that's, hey, that's done, daddy's dead, you know, body turning a whole bunch of vines, don't worry about that no more. Or do you think that kind of her blood and the study of her blood, also that tie to Congo, plays a larger part in the overall season arc? So with that said, do I think you should watch this? If you're into horror, whether it's supernatural action or supernatural horror, I think this one might end up, it might end up on your list. I, I think it might be a show that you're like, you know what, I'm kind of intrigued. They do a lot of stuff in here that ratchets up the tense, you know, the tense nature of just being alone, being in creepy environments. They, they definitely do not hold back on the body horror. They come through in a lot of ways, some tropey ways, but they come through in a lot of ways that I think a lot of pilots don't, man. This, from the opening sequence to the sequence uh, at the house, uh, to the sequence at the, um, in the autopsy, I think there is a camaraderie and emotional attachment there that we can, we can build on. There was some kind of surface level stuff to just kind of get the plot moving, but I think the stuff in the plot that moved the story for the most point was entertaining enough and creepy enough and definitely scary and did not hold back on the horror to the point where I was like, all right, okay, I, I see you. I see you getting nasty and creepy and weird. So guys, holla at me. I'm gonna holla at you. Down in them comments, let's talk Swamp Thing. I'm down with it. I think I'm gonna follow this one, man. Yo, this first episode was no joke. So before I get out of here, I'm gonna tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right. Check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. Don't forget to get one for them play apps. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right. There's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. So LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And please be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other. And remember, just don't mess with the planet all right don't look don't do nothing that's going to hurt the planet don't even litter no more all right just stop peace